We're calling this the BBB, the Blonde Barbecue Burrito. If you guys want to see this crazy concoction, here we go. All right, to get started, we just got a plain old pork butt. Sometimes I'll score them, sometimes I don't. Today I feel iffy, so we're just gonna score it and see what happens. I don't know if it really makes that big of a deal. We're gonna do about a 50-50 of a shake that, which is obviously the salt, pepper, garlic, and butter. And then our Texas, uh, like all purpose seasoning, has a lot more black pepper in it, a little bit other salts. Just trying to maximize those flavors. And of course, you know, when you're dealing with a big piece of meat like this, it can handle a lot of seasoning. So what we're doing now, we're gonna rock this on the Traeger. Uh, we're rocking it pretty fast today, about 275 the whole way. Um, it's coming up to temp right now. We're rocking those smoking McCon pellets, but new to the family, the Meter Pro XL. So I have no knowledge or experience or anything with all the other previous ones this is the first meter product i've ever touched in my entire life uh, we got the four block it was sent to me by traeger i'm gonna be rocking it for a few days testing out see if i like it uh see all the goods and bad so i can relate it to you you guys know how i feel about when i receive product that um, i don't sugarcoat it i'll flat out tell you whether it works or don't work so when we set it up it was easy uh, one thing i did notice was that these wireless probes uh, from Meter Pro XL are thinner than the competition or the other options that I have. And I thought that was unique because obviously, you know, once you gouge your meat, um, it's pretty neat. So there's a the line that you go by all the time, four to five sensors in there. And these are 100% fully submergible, whether it be in oil or water. I love that. Uh, other ones that I have are not necessarily as friendly. Um, but you can get this, scrub it, clean it, and you're good to go. Deep fry it for deep fried turkeys. Um, uh, prom ribs coming up, you name it. Alrighty, roughly four hours and 45 minutes later, we've hit uh, right at 160 degrees. It might be 159 degrees. Take it off. One method I've done previously was uh, we made the mop sauce and then put it in a full pan. I absolutely love that method, uh, but this is just a little, little di different. So we're gonna hit it with some uh, apple cider vinegar, my favorite, and just full both this. One of the biggest reasons I'm doing it like this versus the other reason, even though I like it more, was uh, the flavor profile is gonna be a little bit different. The Alabama white sauce is, has a vinegar tone. You gotta be careful about how much you balance those flavors. And I do want a deeper bark. By covering it, uh, I'm worried I'm gonna lose some of that bark flavor. So, and color. So let's just keep it like this. Let's full boat it. Keep all that moisture in there. And let's see what we get at the end. So this is about 160 degrees now. We're gonna let it go up to about 200 and Two, something like that. All right, we've hit the internal temperature of about 202 degrees. I'm gonna let it rest and uh, we'll be able to shut down that Traeger and be able to move on to the barbecue style burrito. All righty, now that the pork butt is out of the way, let me tell you what we're making, the barbecue burrito. I went back and forth with my wife, what do you think, two weeks now? What goes in it? How do we make it? I want to make something different. That's what I'm all about. Trying things different. That's what gets my creative juices going. That's why I love food. So let's think about the barbecue classics. Traditionally, you would think of more of like a brown sauce, whether it be tomato base or, or vinegar base or something like that. We made the Alabama white sauce chicken wings, and it was absolutely fantastic. The Alabama white sauce was on point, and it's been in my back of my mind ever since. So how do we take that and add it to pork? Because I just thought that vinegar and the pork would marry together. 
Then as my mind went on, da 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 da, I'm like, well, most barbecue joints have macaroni and cheese. I was thinking about rice at first, but it just never really fit well. So let me show you this hack on macaroni and cheese when we get back to why I'm so excited about this burrito. The first ingredient of a two ingredient hack macaroni and cheese is the queso. I'm telling you, my kids love this. Queso cheese and whatever type of noodle you want is literally macaroni and cheese. So uh, through my stores going around and stuff, I actually didn't know they made hatch green chili queso. First time I've ever seen it, I picked it up because I knew I wanted to make hatch green chili queso. So if it needs it, I'll add it. If not, then it's already in there. So I have no idea. What I'm adding to it is a sharp white cheddar. I'm telling you, it's almost like these two are just meant to be together. Simply enough, one pound of shells that's already boiled. And drained. And drained. And we're gonna put that queso in there, warm that up. And then as the queso warms up, you know it gets a little uh, loose. We'll be added the white cheddar, toss that. I'm definitely gonna add the green chilies. My wife's called it audible. She said, don't add the green chilies because the kids want to eat the macaroni and cheese. Add your green chilies if you want to make it without kids. You gotta love your kids. <laughs> the only way I can win back to back to back to back to back to back husband of the year awards is not make what I want to make. <laughs> Just look how easy and creamy that is already. Let's try it real quick. <laughs> that is literally two ingredient mac and cheese. Hmm good we swear that's how our mexican restaurant does it and our daughter loves it <laughs> yep i'm gonna add the whole bag uh let's let's add half the bag i know what you're thinking always use shredded fresh i didn't want to i want those substances in there to keep that cheese separate to help thicken up the cheese looks like we might have to add some cream which is fine since She's taking out the green chilies. I've added the whole bag. It's a win-win. Looking about half a cup of half and half or heavy cream. That is the easiest mac and cheese you're ever gonna make. You can at me all you want to about, oh, it's not homemade. It's dang good, I can tell you that. And what do you know, I get my way anyways. My daughter said, Dad, why don't you take some of the macaroni and cheese out and then add the green chilies? What a fantastic idea, kid. Why didn't I think of it? So now we got the white cheddar, we got the queso, we got the green chilies. Look at that macaroni and cheese. That is, I'm telling you. <laughs> Two ingredient macaroni and cheese hack should be the name of the video. But then you put five ingredients in it. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. Just in full disclosure, I did have some problems out of my Meter Pro XL. I've been already on the phone with troubleshooting with Traeger. I'll have to do that tomorrow. I don't have enough time today. So I'm gonna take this out of the juice. I'm gonna save that juice. You guys know by now, shouldn't be a problem. Beautiful color on it, a little light, but that's what happens when we run at 275. It doesn't cook near as long. I hear an ice cream truck. <laughs> they should have food trucks drive around neighborhoods with a little, <laughs> can you imagine? A brisket Instead and of pulled pork with this two ingredient macaroni and cheese that turned out to be eight ingredient macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I'd get it. Why doesn't that truck drive around the neighborhood instead of the ice cream truck? Take that natural au jus right back inside of it. Comment below what your favorite temperature to uh, cook a pork butt is. I think we'll do a couple uh, videos on what's the best temperature. Try them out. We get a lot of feedback on that. All right, so the idea is just incorporate that bark as much as possible. And let's put this bad boy together. Golly, that pork's good. And we have the grande tortilla size. Just warm it up on the griddle. Just warm it up a little bit, make it more pliable. This burrito... When I was talking to my wife, she really didn't understand, but she does now. I kept mentioning the word, the word brownie blondie, blonde brownie. You know, she just didn't understand the, the correlation, I think. What I meant to say was every brownie that you look at is traditionally brown because the chocolate. And I was like, that's why blondie brownies are white. This is the same idea. You're taking the same idea of the traditional 
brown barbecue sauces. We got the pulled pork, which has that light tone. The macaroni and cheese with a white cheddar and queso light tone. Look at the kicker we got here. Little crispy onions. And of course that Alabama white sauce. We froze the rest of that and that's a little bit thawed out. So really good hack right there. Whew, that's hot. You thought I was crazy when I came up with this. <laughs> Try this while I make the rest Let of it. Let me see. I haven't even tried it. It's gotta be good. Mm. 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 Want the crunchies on the inside or outside? I think the inside, so it's more spread out. A little fried onion action. You can do like fried jalapenos. You can do homemade onion rings. Just trying to keep it simple. If you guys want to go all out, absolutely. <laughs> Ooh, you know it's good for you to roll it up. All right, if you never rolled one before, we can argue all day about how to do it. I like to do wings like a V, okay? See how it's kind of like a V? Fold it up, tuck those ingredients in, fold your flaps, and tuck it in just like that. Kind of pull and pull back. And put it right on the griddle just so it kind of seals that edge. Just like that. All right, we use that residual heat from the griddle just to seal that edge. I didn't even turn it one time, just kept it on there, kind of toasted up that bottom. Let's see what we got here. What do you think? You want it flat? You want it at an angle? A little angle. Not little a, angle. Not a deep angle. Not a deep one. I'm super excited. I think the flavor is going to be fantastic. You got all that cream. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I mean, you really think we should chase it down? You know, I have it ran good with barbecue. I'm just telling you. Little ice cream. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> no matter if I do. You know, they had a soft serve truck come through hey, here the other day. Really? Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> all right. God. This is going to be good. Now, you've been thinking about this for a long time. Here, let me try it by you. Mm. You got to find a way to incorporate all the ingredients. Mm -hmm. You got to mm -hmm. find a way to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got to find a way to incorporate all the ingredients. If you just get the macaroni and cheese or mm. the pork, obviously. So go th go this way. I here. know. You got to move it so that you kind of get it all. Yeah, like that. <laughs> the bite I got was the mac and cheese and it was super good. You know what? It's just something different. You don't get the sweetness from the barbecue mm. sauce. You don't have like the baked beans and all that stuff. You don't have the slaw in there. It's just a di different representation of what barbecue can be. Mm. Simple macaroni and cheese, you'll never know it's two ingredients, eight mm. ingredients, six ingredients. Mm. You can do brisket on this. Mm. Mm. It's that little bit of the white sauce, I feel like, that gives it the little bit of the vinegary to kind of cut through the cheese and the fat. Mm. Amen. <laughs> All right, guys, there you go. That's the BBB, not get confused with the BBC. So, with that being you're, said, you're cut that no, out. we ain't. With that being said, no, we ain't. You gotta cut that out. <laughs> Barbecue burrito cold cut. What the heck you're thinking? <laughs> As always, don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Cheers to the next one. Damn good. Damn good.